I had a really bad case of morning voice this morning, so I apologize for the gravelly gurglies. But I'm not going to do a voiceover. This is an update on my non existent garden. About the most thing I've got was I went out and threw all sorts of wildflower seeds everywhere I could put them. So I've been really enjoying the pretty colors, the pretty flowers. Look at all these delicious radish seeds. As you can tell, I've been eating them when they're not so plump. And the birdies are eating them. Tasty, tasty. Oh, I love my calendulas. They're so pretty. And the avocado's dropping leaves like crazy. But it's putting out all kinds of new growth. And look at this. Look at all these flowers. What's funny is this, this side last year did not put out any flowers. And it's just outdoing itself. Of course it's dropping them all. And this side gave me three blossoms last year on two spikes. But it's got, that's the other tree. It does have some blossoms on it. Getting ready to lose more leaves. Oops. Get rid of the old stuff. Look at all these buds. I'd say the avocado tree has grown a little since I transplanted into the metal. Can't think of the name of it. Everybody's getting them, but they're not putting them on concrete like me. And there's a ton more radish seeds. This one's spicier than the big ones. And yes, the little birdies are helping themselves. They're doing a very good job. For that's why you gotta net them before the birds get them. This one, peach tree volunteer, has to come out of this bed because it's lined with plastic, only like six inches deep. This was solid beets. And I discovered I like beet greens. So as they bolt, I pull them up and eat the greens. Didn't get very many beets. You would think after sitting out here for a year, I'd get something. The trouble is there's no sun that gets over here. And even less since a plant, Eugenia, is leaning out more. But there's a the peach tree. I'm leaving them. There's a the peach tree. I'm leaving it. And that was the first one that came up, but it's doing the worst. I think one of the reasons is I have a drip line that's ran over to the middle of the two. So that it gets water every time I turn the hose on. But Zuli had a cute little fountain and I had to find out where it came from. Amazon. And it's electrical, unfortunately. I can't run a 50 foot cord out here. Plus it has to be safely contained because the raccoons dump them over. So I went and hooked up a solar fountain. It only fills up the center's part, but that's okay. And if you want to check out solar fountains, go to Robbie and Gary on YouTube. She's got tons of them. She's really into hummingbirds. She's got tons of feeders out there for thousands of birds. But this works just fine. And here's my little peach tree. She's, what, four years old? Nothing the first year, a couple the second year, several last year. So this is four years old. And she is just loaded. And the funny part is, the bottom bloomed, started setting fruit, but the top wasn't doing anything. 
It doesn't have very many on it, but there is more, and they're much smaller. So I'm going to have a really long picking period if they all make it and something else doesn't get a hold of them. I did pick another one of those animal critter deterrents to make sure I have one that works all the time. Because of my luck at a break, I did have one burn out. I went to change the batteries and the batteries aren't the kind you can change. So look at all these beautiful little peaches. This is a volunteer. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I have made the decision to take out the tangelo tree. It's nice and big and shady, but the last two years, I only got one or two edible tangelos and they drop. And it doesn't, I've had several this year, but they're only on this one part of the tree. So it's just taking up space, even though it's putting out flowers like crazy. But if the fruit isn't edible, what's the point? Hi, girl. That's my little girls. Keep moving. Remember that little cherry tree from seed a couple years ago? Well, it went dormant and now it's starting to wake up. Really surprised. I didn't think it was going to. It's the cherry tree that I started last year. There was three. The birds ate one. There's this one. And then this one. And I tried so hard to salvage my blueberries. I covered this half of the cage so they wouldn't get beat by the three rainstorms. Just absolutely load it with blueberries, load it with buds, load it with flowers. And I forgot to water it. <laughs> Came out here and they look like raisins. Some of them did plump up, but the majority of them fell off. So hopefully next year. That is Misty Blue. And this is Biloxi. I bought this one in February. See, there was little blueberries everywhere. And this is what's so fun. If you go to my last video, you'll see where I finally got the thing put together and the avocado tree in the middle. And then tomato plants started coming up. Okay. Well, it's been four months. Well, it's last year. They didn't come up right away. But, come on. Good sized blossoms. Medium sized and tiny blossoms. So this is probably going to be a cherry. Yeah, that's a cherry. Three feet tall. And I try to keep them off of the avocado so I can get at least some sun. And that's what, three years old now? Hey Mo, what you doing? And then I wonder why I can't find any of my tools. Yeah, I set them down and walk away. And this is just so happy since I moved it. It's getting a lot more shade. It used to be over there where it got a lot of sun. I think it's happier in the shade. And this was covered with, hmm. Freesia. There was freesias everywhere. And I need to water. I'm having to water every day. Not twice a day yet. And that's a avocado that I planted from seed in 2001. Got two avocados the first three years. And one the first, second year, one the third year. And I don't even think it's bloomed since. No, it has bloomed. Just not getting anything. And the Mexican sage is starting to bloom up. Strawberries. Ah, 
not bachelor buttons, calendula, butterfly weed, pretty yellow butterfly weed. I don't know, could just be a weed and not the kind you smoke. It's big, massive artichoke plant. I've had two artichokes off of it. And the first one wasn't even as big as the palm of my hand. And the one yesterday was about that big around. Here's my other artichoke. And there's one out front. So I need to fix it up so they... I need to fix it up so the three can grow well. Oh, and I put out all of my basil seeds and it looks like something's finally coming up. This should be solid basil, but it's not. And here's the other cherry tree. Baby artichoke. Bunch of tomatoes, who knows what kind. I had yellow tomatoes in there and I went to pull out weeds. And I ended up pulling out the tomato plant. Foxglove. Nicka tobacco nicotiana nicotia yeah tobacco more foxglove and i am going to be removing i'm going to be removing the greenhouse it's now a catch-all and i haven't used it but that first year and then the plastic rotted out halfway through the second year i did buy greenhouse plastic just never put it up and since I am really not gardening yeah history I'm going to take the dog kennel apart and run it the full length of the patio and then exclude the chickens from this whole area because I really like artichokes and I have four plants three plants three we have four Hey, Mo. So, and I'll be able to cut that back. I bought a trimmer on a stick, a hedge trimmer. And I can't get over, under, and everything and to be able to keep it cut back. And I don't want it on the roof. And this way, I can get to it easier. Oh, it's a new one. We throw our stuff halfway over the fence. Hmm. Well, as you can see, it's kind of overgrown over here with the nasturtiums. And I'm going to be planting corn over here since corn is a dollar an ear. Up over the fence. Oh, look, there's a pretty red one. I trampled this all down. And I... Those were all strawberries. And... I planted butterfly weed seeds, so we'll see what happens. But this was full like that. Forgot about my garlic. I don't think it's doing too well. And my artichokes didn't come back. Jerusalem artichokes. If that's still here mid-afternoon, I'll throw it back over. But, oh, ooh, look, I have a beet that's going to seed. Never gave me much of a beet. Well, that might be Swiss chard then. What happens if you haven't touched your garden in three years? Well, this would be the third year. Oh, remember those... Remember those date seeds I started four or five years ago? They split out of the pot and <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to get them separated. And the grapevine is going like crazy. 
I gotta get out here and rip that all out. But there are a couple of strawberry plants left. And they are blooming nicely. Uh, and that's Zuli lettuce, the red lettuce that doesn't taste bad when it bolts. It grows all summer. Yeah, that's what happens when you neglect stuff. And this is a five, six year old avocado tree. And I picked up some bulbs from the 99 cent store. Stargazer. And then something ate that one as soon as it came up. And more gladiolas. And I picked a couple of nice tasty strawberries off of this. And it's blooming again. And celery. If you want green in your garden and you can't grow anything, throw out a handful of celery seeds. You'll have celery the rest of your life. And would you believe salvia is still growing? Well, she's six, seven years old now. Getting pretty ratty looking, but still growing.